Yo, what's up, everybody? This is episode, Jesus, 15? 13, Damn. 14, 15. 15, man. 15. We're, we're, we're doing it, man. Underworld Games is Drizzen. We got my boy over here, Skyhook. What's up? Yo, man. Um, one thing I wanted to th- you know talk to you about is you being on the panel. So yeah. let me get let me get, let me get some thoughts. Of, like, what's it be on the panel for like the PR and stuff? Like, it's how- it's pretty fun. I gotta say, um, I was added to the panel. Yep. Like this before it got revamped, I was put on it. It was around the time of Shine 2016. Yeah. Uh, I've I'm always watching streams. Like Dom Baroness noticed he was on the panel and he noticed that I'm like really attentive to what yep. happens in the scene. So he, he threw me into the panel and yep. since the fall PR of 2016, I've been con- a consistent member, and it's really cool being able to look at the facts, look at the stats mm-hmm. of how everybody plays against each other in the state. Because yeah, yeah. you know, there's anywhere's up to 25 people one season in contention and you get to see every set they've ever played with anybody and if they won if they lost you see their set counts with other top players and it you know because you can make a list off top of your head like oh i think this person would be here 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 and here. yeah but if you don't got the stats this is mm-hmm. like then you see the stats and you like you can make one all you want but when you see the stats you know exactly just about where everybody should go. Yeah, because I sometimes like when I when I see it, I'm like, oh, this is the PR. I'm like, why is why is this person like I don't mention? Shouldn't he be like seven? Because that's how good he is. Like, yeah, that person's that good, but either like they didn't have that much attendance, or like there's a lot of like PR like beats that you know he like he lost to, or like some other like reason that like I didn't even factor in or something. Yeah, sometimes it's the person above them. They might have the same wins, but if the person above them has the upper hand. Yeah, and that's what changes, you know, person from being from one spot to another, or just whatever win they have in general. So who um who else is on the the, the CT panel for the PR? So the panel is myself. I represent the uh, the um Fairfield County area because we yep. have them representing from every part of Connecticut. Okay, okay. Ajax represents the kind of like the Hartford Waterbury area up mm-hmm. there, and then East Connecticut is Clipboards. Okay. So there's the three of us with actual garbage as the He's not a member of the panel per se, but he's kind of like he's the, dad. He's the chairman. Yeah, he's he's our dad essentially. <laughs> he only weighs in his opinion if it's necessary. If there's like a complete stalemate where we can't move anywhere and we we're just stuck mm-hmm. between debating two people's placements, John will step in and say, "Here's what I think," and usually it helps. Okay. It's it's a really good system, especially having three people, because a lot of times what what it becomes is. There's two placements, and two people think one person should be somewhere, and the other thinks that it's a different person. Mm-hmm. And you have, you know, a discussion, yep. and it either turns into, you know, the two people being like, oh, all right, that's a good point. It actually happened this time um, between the fourth and fifth placements. It was a very big discussion between two of us and then one of the other members. Okay. And, yeah, it was it was like a 10-minute long – we had a verbal discussion, and you know, we did it all aside UG last Tuesday – and it was like a verbal, like we had all the stats in front of us, and but it's a good way to accomplish it. Having all the data, it makes it less subjective and more like it is still subjective mm-hmm. at the end of the day, but it helps to guide us to making a pure skill-based, data-based, win-based kind of PR. So, it's, um, well, you always guys stay at three people or you think you're gonna go to four maybe to five or does it get too uh, like clunky or like so what? that was that was an issue we had back when i first joined it was oh, let me see if i remember all the people i know john was still like the chairman it was like me tony ling ling zion baroness uh there were a couple other people we had like almost six or seven people in the panel mm-hmm. and the reason that you know three seasons ago i think was when we implemented this new system and it was just because, like, sometimes the delegation process would take way too long. Mm-hmm. And the list would always – because everybody makes a list. We present the list to each other, and we start discussion from there. Because, like, you know, one and two – This is after part. everybody looks at the stats and stuff? Yeah, okay. everybody looks at the stats. They make a list. You submit it to John. When everybody's list is submitted, we discuss. And that's how we've always done it. But having less people makes it just – it makes it simpler. Yeah, more smooth, I guess. Yeah, yeah. it makes it run more Less smooth. Less confliction and stuff. Exactly. Because that was always a big problem facing the PR panel back back when I had first joined it. Okay. But now things run a lot smoother. Like, I think last seasons or the seasons before it took us, like, two days of discussion to, like, figure out. I think it might have been last season. This past season that, like, just happened that we just made was, like, 
pretty smooth. We mm -hmm. all kind of were in agreement with each other. But the one before that, there was a lot of conflict between who should be where, and it took a while. Okay. Um, real quick thoughts. Who do you want to, like, make the, the PR? As, like, as a player, if you were looking at him, like, yo, I think that kid's going to make top – you know, that top 10 PR. Yeah, I, I want to see uh, Croc Man on the PR eventually. He, he's he been putting in a lot of work. I met him at Hall of Gaming like almost two years ago, and he started coming here and just improving more and more every time I see him play. Yeah, him, he's, people like him, you know, Zoo. And, like, love and like TRL. TRL, uh, exactly. The, but like, I feel like, like those th three Pacific players, it's like either they go on a run or they just lose real early. Yep. It's like I mean that I happened mean, to Crockman today. He got I think 17th or 25th. Yeah, I saw him in. I think did he play in amateurs? No, I'm he was eligible sure. though. So he yeah, got like yeah. 17th. And then you see t players like TRL too. Like today he got ninth, but then sometimes you see him getting fourth place yeah, or yeah. fifth place. And um, I think that those types of players, <clears throat> excuse me, they they're not yet at the consistency and experience level of the people you see on the PR constantly. You know, Light Ling, yeah. Scott. Tony, when Koga was here, you know, he was always in the top five yep. up to a certain point. And they just don't have that kind of almost as like veteran experience, you could say. Yeah. That they get into tense situations with PR players they've never beaten. And it's it's the same story. You know, they'll take game one, they get inside their own head, and then slowly you see them fall apart between the rest of the games. Yeah, and yeah. I've well, seen it happen to Crockman specifically against both Ling and Zion. It's Yeah, like, but, but I think, like, was it? I don't know if it's this season, but I know I know one game, one match this season. Uh, he played against Scott. I think he's two one against Scott or two. Yeah, he, he was two one against Scott this last season. Yeah, the, like I don't know. He, I guess he so. just has Scott's number, man. Yeah, like, Scott. Like, Scott said that he he struggles a bit against Lucas. I know he's lost. He lost to K three H at Retro World Expo. Yeah, yeah. So I know he he's not a big fan of that matchup. He's told me he's like I gotta practice that matchup. I gotta. You know, yeah, but like, how many how many people play Lucas? Exactly. You know, we only like, have D Dio. We only have Crocman and K3H here in Connecticut. Yeah. So. And like the only other play person that I know plays Lucas uh, uh, is uh, Mekos. Yeah, Mekos and Juice. Yeah. And Juice is yeah, and Juice, yeah, yeah. Juice is Rhode Island, so he's not too far. But Mekos is from like Georgia or something, I think. Uh, North, so. uh, North Carolina. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's yeah. very far. Yeah, so he's the home yeah. yeah. Um, the one player that I want to see on the PR man, I hope he makes it is uh. Hawk, man. Yeah, dude, Hawk, dude, like, Hawk's been on, grinding dude. real hard. I just can't wait for the PR to come out, man, to yeah. actually see if he people, made it or not, man. People are going to like what they see, I think. This was a really, really competitive season. I can't it, wait to see it, man. It, it started, like, it was seeming like nobody really cared. Like, you know, Light was winning everything. Like, well, I think it's, he dropped a couple I think, sets here I think there. everybody feels that way in the beginning of the season. Maybe, like, the first two months. And then when it starts mm -hmm. that, that, you know, those four last weeks or whatever, yep. everybody's hitting up big tournaments. Like, Light went to... Latendo and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Overclock like, too. Overclock, yeah, that was a great event. Yeah, Overclock was sick. Yeah, I just really hope Hog makes it, man. Yeah, no, Hog. Yeah, Hog's been putting in a lot of work. He's always. The I want to see him travel. Right. I want to see him travel. He could, bro. He could do. He if he gets the experience, I could see Hawk definitely, like proving himself as one of the best foxes on the East Coast. Like he has. Him and Paris don't play alike. Like oh, they don't. No. Light Light will go for some of the craziest, wonkiest things I've ever seen. Whereas Hawk will sometimes be a bit more conservative and like lay back. But then when he gets the openings, you know, he very rarely drops them. He's a lot more. Um, I guess he's more like confirmed based. Yeah, yeah. Whereas Light will just go for stuff you never see any other player, not just any fox, go for. Yeah, yeah. Hawk, the, he's the past three PR seasons. He's like just missed the cut. Mm -hmm. Him and Wright G are always like, because Wright G is because he doesn't attend as much as yeah, he should. Yeah, yeah. They always are right at the cusp of being PR'd. They're like the HM legends. They're always HM. <laughs> but Hawk, the rate he's going, man, Hawk definitely has the potential to land on the PR and then stay on the PR. Yeah, man, I hear that. Um, I'm hoping to see him. but I'm hoping that he's going to Frostbite. Who? Frostbite. Oh, Hawk. Hawk. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, really yeah. hope that he's going on. Like, there's so many, no, like, now. dude, like, if that's the one tournament that everyone's going to, like, dude. That's I don't want to go to. It's not, it's, yeah, you know, it's a flight. And maybe, like, if you're driving, it's, like, 14 hours. But Michigan is dude, a lot closer than California. 12 you know? hours. I, I think it's 12 hours because I drove there, like, Michigan, like, three times. Yeah, for, like, for a big, big house. house stuff. Yeah, I think it's only, like, 12 hours, man. It's not, it's really not. No, yo, know, if you get, like, bad. another person or, like, three people in the car or something, dude, yep. you switch back and forth, man, it's done. It's yeah, real quick. four hours each, it's not bad. Boy, you go to Florida, man. Fuck that drive. Yeah, Florida is <laughs> all the way down the coast, man. I couldn't imagine driving all the way down there. All right, man, any last thoughts real quick? Not really. Uh, just, I think 
everybody is going to like what they see with the PR this season. I think that there's going to be a lot of discussion. Oh, when it comes one thing out. we have to fucking tell you. Um, oh, what's up? I thought we were. Are we doing doubles PR this this season or doubles is it? PR? It might it might have to be coming out next season. Like the, like we have, we have like stats and stuff, but, but it's just not enough. It's not enough, really. We could come up with like a mock list to base next season off of. I think we're showing like you guys should only do like top three. Like yeah, I think top three, top is three fine, maybe like... top five. It depends on how many static teams we have. But. Yeah. Uh, that I, it's probably not coming out this season, but I could right. see it. So I look for it in April. Yeah, for, the, for coming up in the March after or after March. So yeah, in the, around April. Aprilish. All right, man. Yeah. All right, guys. That's fun stuff. All right, Mutual until next air. time. Uh, Drizzen, Skyhook, we out, man. Peace out.